So we thought, okay, well, it's pretty safe until they call you and tell you it isn't safe anymore. Bill last saw his nine-year-old mother right here at the long-term care home Idola Saint Jean in Laval on Christmas Day. The home that was mostly spared during the first wave last spring is now unfortunately seeing a growing outbreak with over 70 staff and residents infected. Bill's mother is one of the 10 who lost their lives to COVID-19 here. I have, to, I have to admit I'm pissed because she could have gone from anything. She's 90. But COVID? Uh... Urania had Alzheimer's disease and dementia and had been living in the CHSLD for over a year. On January 4th, Bill received a call that his mother had contracted the virus, along with many others on her floor, and was being transferred to the Cartier Arena, a temporary 50-bed accommodation for patients who did not require acute care. But she died just hours after her transfer on January 7th. Bill says he's frustrated because he believes the rapid tests sitting in a warehouse instead of being used by the province could have saved his mother's life. He also blames Quebec's vaccine rollout plan, which he says failed to ensure his mother and other seniors in the home were vaccinated in time. So had my mother gotten her vaccine three, four weeks ago, who knows? But no, we, we don't. We're botching that up as well. It may be too late for Bill's mother, but Quebec did provide some hope earlier this week, saying all long-term care residents and staff have now received their first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. Patients' rights advocate Paul Brunet, however, says he remains concerned as staff shortages still exist in Quebec and personnel are still being asked to move between facilities. The personnel, as a matter of fact, is infected to the level of 12% in Quebec as we speak, according to the figures from the ministry. But that's not the ones we're, we're uh, hitting on. We're hitting on tourists who statistically are affected at 1.3% of them. But we're not asking personnel to get the shots, even though they are effect infected at 12%. Timo Theato's family is also disappointed they couldn't hold a proper open casket funeral. Because of current regulations, only 10 people could attend and bury Urania in a steel casket, with family not getting a chance to see her one last time. You picture a loved one in a bag and, and a name. Wow. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. It, it was just horrific. That's what it was. It was horrific. To you. So you, not only you get the, the shock that your mom just died, and you bury her like a piece of radioactive material in a steel case. Although Quebec has implemented several measures in recent weeks, including a month-long overnight curfew to stop the spread of the virus, Bill doesn't believe the province is heading in the right direction. They closed up the economy. I mean, they, they closed up everything. They put a curfew, which is fine. Then when they lift up everything again, well, we haven't changed anything. We're just hoping that people get vaccinated, but the vaccines are kind of late. So what's the point? In Montreal, Melina Jubalaro, City News.